Well, hello everyone. Do I have a special home tour for you today? Actually, I have three. How they'll air, I'm not really sure, but we're taking, uh, taking advantage of the fact that all of these homeowners are on a home tour in a beautiful area of Oklahoma City, probably the most beautiful in my opinion because of its old growth oak trees, post oaks, all of which here are just fabulously pruned, so healthy. This neighborhood has a golf course very nearby, and again, an old golf course, because this neighborhood too dates back to the 1930s, and it's, it's simply fabulous. There are two areas, one where the homes are, are older vintage, and this one here at this fabulous postmodern home, 1955, and we get to meet the owners and also see just the brilliance of how they have redesigned and decorated this home. It's absolutely, well, it's just knocked out. I did a brief run through of it. I have not yet really met the owners, but I am about to, as are you. So what do you say, Stuart? Let's go inside. Well, I'm so excited to share a new sponsor with you, BetterHelp, the go-to online therapy service. You know, I took this sabbatical because I wanted to concentrate on my health, both my physical health, I wanted to reestablish my good workout routines that had kind of begun to flag over the past couple of years, but I also wanted to concentrate on my mental health. I've already shared that with you guys. Life was coming at me so fast. I had so many changes in a short, very compressed period of time that it was stressful. It made me anxious and quite frankly, a little bit depressed. And I felt like even though I could talk to my family and friends, which was very helpful, I found myself craving a third party who could give me a little bit more objectivity and a little bit more clarity. You know, I think I used to think that everybody had everything figured out but me, but definitely that's not true. And that's where a service, an online therapy service like BetterHelp comes in. Their mission is to make it easy for you to begin, to just get started, the hardest part of all. They can pair you with someone that really fits your needs in as little as two days. And if that's not a good fit, at no charge to you, they, they can fit you with someone else who is a little bit more in line with exactly what you need. It's flexible, you can set your own schedule, uh, you can do it in the privacy of your home. There's really no reason not to do it and I, I just love that. It, it's very much tailored to and customized to what you need. So if you want to take control of your mental health like I did, if you feel that you too might benefit from a service like this, then definitely check out the link below to this wonderful online therapy. There's a special code that you can use because I think our mental health is every bit as important as our physical health. Okay, Stuart, follow me to the front door. Look at these wonderful slabs, concrete slabs, these pavers with large river rock in between them. There it looks like there's some nesting spruces. It's beautifully done. Flanked, this modern front door, flanked by these wonderful um, container plantings. Uh, it looks like maybe this might be a Kimberly Queen fern, some coleus, some angel wing begonias. Let's ring the bell and let them know that we have arrived. Hey, Linda. Hi, hi, Linda Vodder. Linda, Jeff. Hi, Jeff. Nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you. Paul, Good nice to meet you. you. Thank you so much for doing this. You're so welcome. We're excited. excited. So a mutual friend of mine that I have known for forever, Carmen, told me that I needed to come and visit some of these fabulous homes on the Forest Park tour. Yes. And I am very happy, happy to do that. Now, man, this is a magnificent home. Thank you. And I understand it was built in 1955, but you moved in about three years ago, and then we moved right back out. 
Okay. <laughs> and, yeah, because that's what you do. Because that's what you do when you're going to take a home down to the studs and you're going to completely renovate it, restore it, get it ready for, surely it's not just the two of you that share all of this space. There's a couple of kiddos. Yep. There's a couple of kiddos. kiddos. Okay, very, I mean, what a wonderland yeah. for them to live in because this sits on three acres just about. Okay, and I understand. Uh, little birdies have told me you have chickens here. We do. We have about 30 chickens, actually. Do you really? Yep. And yet it abuts up against this wonderful forest in the back. Yes. Mostly, um, it looks like bur oaks, uh, post oaks, mm -hmm. Blackjack. just blackjack, yes. yeah, yep. all of those. Well, it's absolutely incredible, and we definitely will be showing that to you. But first, let's get a gander. When I say gander, you have turkeys too. <laughs> we do have turkeys. We have a massive flock, and they like to make their way through our gardens in the front. Because <laughs> they go across your front yard to the golf course. They because do. they also <laughs> like to golf. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they own the place, really. Uh -oh. They Okay, now seriously, do they cause problems with your chickens? No, no not really. Not at all. Birds of a feather, they just yep. kind of... <laughs> they flock together. Yeah, and I would flock here too, because this is a really an amazing, amazing home, starting with this fabulous piece here. So um, just to kind of orient everyone, mm -hmm. um, this wing would be... This would be mainly the, the living room is on this side, the dining room, breakfast nook, kitchen, laundry room, and the sun. He's okay. the loudest, so we put him all the way on that side of the house. Video then, games, yeah. yeah, okay, very good. Okay. <laughs> the rest of the bedrooms are on this side of the house. On this side of the house. So how large is this? It's about 2,900 square feet. Wow, it looks even larger than that from the outside. So when you restored it, did you restore the exterior and the interior? Did you paint the brick? Did you? We did paint the brick. We, it, we, it went back and forth a little bit. It was kind of an orangey color. There were a few damaged spots and we did some repairs and we ultimately just decided that uh, that the uh, that, that painting it was the best option yeah. for us and we love it we love the way it turned out well this this whole area is really I mean it's always been fabulous but it seems it's really experiencing a renaissance yes. um, because all of these homes are just really incredible yeah. and and it's got it's got a vintage quality about it a very Oklahoma vintage quality I love the way the entrance gates into the, the golf course. Golf They're old necessary. red rock. It's mm -hmm. just got a real Oklahoma flair. Well, as does this whole living area. So tell me about this piece of of art and are you art collectors? Uh, we are wannabe art collectors. Okay. We have, uh, we have a lot of, <laughs> we, we have a few pieces um, that we picked up at Cut antique school. stores. Um, some of them are just from big box stores that we're just kind of calling them placeholders until through some of our travels, we, we love to go to Arizona. Maybe we'll find a piece that really speaks to us from a, from a, you know, from a, a local artist. There's a local artist here in Oklahoma City that we have an eye on a, a one of his pieces. Um, so yeah, we hope to continue to add to the art and upgrade some of the art as the years go on. So it looks when you come in, and I see this stucco, and yet it's very postmodern, so it's got kind of a fusion of postmodern and Santa Fe a little Southwest. bit, Southwest. Yeah. That's absolutely our, our style. That's, th that's your vibe. Well, it is a vibe that works tremendously, as does look at the light fixtures. I know there's a couple of them in here that are pretty yeah, cool. Yeah, you always have to remember to look up. Yeah. Because uh, Paul says the light fixtures are the jewelry. Oh, yeah, no, I agree. And dumb. you know, outside, like we were noticing the sconces and things, that's mm -hmm. also jewelry of the exterior of, of the house. And I think that's absolutely so important. So you are a chemist. Am I correct? You're the right. one that's the chemist and you are the one that works in insurance. That's Is that correct? I'm an insurance agent. Okay. So, but together you have an eye. Oh my gosh. That's, yeah. Really incredible of you to your front yard. You've got a small garden kind of in the front that greets visitors. Did you have to do any restorative work on the stone wall or anything? Is Does I that hold back water? Uh, that is the original uh, retaining wall since 1955. We did nothing to it. Um, we have a little bit of a love-hate relationship. We love the stone. I love the stone. We don't really love the, the red brick cap. 
but I do love that it has been here since 1955. Mm -hmm. It hasn't needed any work. Oh, wow. I love the oval shape wow, of it. Good, so that's um, right. we definitely, we're, yeah. we're happy that it's there. Yeah, don't mess with success. Yeah, exactly. Or anything that is really holding the water yes. out. Well, this is just wonderful. So give me a little bit of an idea as Stuart Gives I'm, kind of, the, I'm doing the tour over here. Hold okay, doing the tour over here. I always, I'm always working ahead of Stuart. He has to kind of guess where my brain is going to go next. This piece is fabulous. That came from Urbane. Oh, oh I wow, love we Urbane. Just we just okay. shot a video at Urbane. Mm -hmm. Okay, well. That piece and those, uh, those blue plate chairs. Okay, those well, I think I recognize those now. And the pillows. Yep. Yeah, we, we just shot a video there. Yep. Yeah. Oh, I like that. Yeah, wow. yeah, that was, that's fun. So love, maybe, I don't, I don't know, is this where, so, okay, so let me just back up. So what did you do? So this mammoth wall that you see when you come in on this side is a fabulous fireplace. Oh, there you yeah. go. That is the fireplace. <laughs> we really had a goal of not changing too much with the layout with the original bones of the house. We toyed around with the idea of taking down a wall and having kind of more of an open concept with the kitchen, but we quickly decided that wasn't a direction we wanted to go. We wanted to stay much more true to the original blueprints, and I was so happy we did. This is where that wow. fireplace uh, was. It was not as pretty, but we loved the shape of it. We loved the asymmetry, and Paul had the idea to stucco it. I thought he was crazy at first, but I absolutely <laughs> love the way it turned out. Yeah, it, it looks really good. Well, it, it, it's fabulous. So were the corners squared and They're you square, rounded them, so that's what gives it that adobe yes. southwestern vibe. Yes, I, I feel like I'm at La Posada or something in Santa Fe. That's wonderful. You've got a charming little bar over here. And as I understand it, you guys do entertain quite a bit. We do. We, do. we have a really great friend group, and there's about 20 of us. And we've been really tight for seven, eight years now. And so we have book club here. And well, and you have a big family, you said, extended and family, family and, and yeah. And yeah, Thanksgivings and, and Christmases um, work really well here, 25 or 30 people. And, Sometimes if it's warm enough, we're out on the patio and some people are at the dining table and some people are sprawled around the floor. Well, it's, it's great for entertaining. It has great flow. It's got really dramatic framing of the view looking into the backyard. And this, so tell me, this is brilliant, but, but given that this is such a long, narrow room, was it a decorating challenge and did you use a decorator? We did not use a decorator. Um, it was a huge challenge though, because we just couldn't figure out how to get the furniture arranged in such a long single room. Uh -huh. So we kind of had the idea, let's create sort of two rooms in one and, and tie them together. Working. So, But we, we actually went as far as, I mean, we drew, we, we did a little art pro or a little um, arts and crafts process. We, <laughs> you know, we, we kind of drew the room to scale and we cut out little Oh, it helps. Of, yeah. of, yeah. Of, yeah. Yeah. And tried to kind of move things yeah. around and figure out. We and and finally when we put that sectional there and kind of opened it up, it just it we were like that's, that's well, every one thing told you the next thing yeah. to do. Look at this magnificent. You know that in modern homes they're nine or ten mm -hmm. or great, but homes. it doesn't read that. It, it doesn't read that, and it it feels cozy to us. It does. When you have the big group in here. There's still enough space that you don't feel cramped, but just feels nice and the other thing, I love the way this light fixture kind of defines this space mm -hmm. and kind of makes you feel like you've got this nice little kiva right. almost over in here. And then this is just kind of an, another room. And I love it because it works so well, but my instinct would have been to create two rooms by putting a couch right here and then another right. seat. <laughs> and, and it didn't work. And it just didn't work. It just didn't work. But here's, here is a tip for all of you out there. They've also defined the space and broken up this long room into two by defining the spaces with rugs oh, yep. and with very defined seating areas. And it's definitely very intentional. You definitely have a point of view. All of your stuff is, looks like it's very carefully curated. And the scale of everything is appropriate. So I think that's what makes it just, or at least for me, 
just I can't believe you didn't you didn't have someone helping you now Stuart because this was a huge controversy when I moved into my cottage uh -oh, which one was it? In the great room, where was I going to put my TV? Oh yeah. Yep. Because we had a Not big, we had a big, <laughs> yeah, we had a big yeah. wood burning fireplace. Yes. And we, like you, decided not to hang it over the fireplace. And when we say TV, this is a TV on steroids. <laughs> How big is this TV? I think it's 86. A, is it 86? Yeah. I can't remember. And it from is, way over here, it's kind of necessary, that's right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you know, we do like a big TV. Uh, we, you know, kids are over watching a movie or whatever, and we think, man, this is this is like I think it's twenty-seven feet. When you're oh wow! From yeah. here to that television, you kind of need a So you yeah. must be. Gave us the excuse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> so yeah that's not that we needed much. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> yeah. So when when your kids come over, you are you are the go-to. TV viewing oh, yeah. area sure, sure. for football, for movies, for anything. Sure. Well, it, it just could not be more stunning. And I just love how everything looks. Your art selection is just fabulous. And what I love about this is this, this home is a complete departure from mine, but it's a testament to the fact, and we've done so many home tours. There are so many forms of beauty, aren't there? There are, there are so many forms and interpretations mm -hmm of how you can compose things and you can put things together and you can accentuate a view and take advantage of different textures and finishes. And I just love that. I love it that everything is different and everybody lives in different ways. Is this a real cactus? That is it Lupe. Is. That's Lupe? That's Lupe? You when we lived at Lift Apartments, we had gorgeous, oh, wow. huge west-facing windows, west and south. Yes. And we bought that from Calvert's, and it was it was the, we had the perfect spot for it. Now, when we moved here, we do have these big, gorgeous windows, but that is about the best place for for that cactus to get some to light. Very light. Well, yeah. and it's good because it's very prominent and it fits yeah. perfectly right it there. It almost is a piece of art to us. I'm surprised Absolutely. I haven't run into you because we apparently shop at the same places. <laughs> <laughs> because we have been to Calvert's numerous times yes, okay. and I lust after everything, <laughs> after everything that's there. So now let's just take a moment to look at, at your back outdoor living area and then I will, I, I will thank you for your service. And if you don't mind, we'll just kind Absolutely. of visit yeah, both ends. I know you guys have other things to do, but this is just... This is just really spectacular. It really is. It is just lovely. Oh, look at this guy over what here. Was the, what was the most Sheesh. difficult decision you made in um, decor decision? The most, well, I would say the most difficult decision was we, we were very close to taking that wall out. And it was it was because we, we thought we needed the, a bigger kitchen, which I, you'll, we'll let you wander back there on your own time and take a look. But I'm so so thankful that we did not take that wall out. Yeah, so we we definitely struggled with that. I think more than anything. Else. Yeah, I have an open kitchen. I didn't used to at my other house, but I do now. And very often, I wish it were not an open concept kitchen. Um, and, and that's starting to turn around again. People are not wanting open concept kitchen because you can't hide all the mess. Right, all the mess. One of the and when you're entertaining just, and you're trying to get everything ready and you've got people coming in. in fact, well, let's just, uh, let's keep talking. But okay. if you have a, a few extra minutes, let's go yeah, around sure, to your marvel, let's go around to your marvelous I'll kitchen. I'll follow you guys. Okay, so this goes into the, the West Wing. The West Wing. The West Wing. The West Wing. Your wonderful dining room right here. So you have two designated areas. Yeah. And that's kind of fun because if you're entertaining, you're you're separate, but you're still very close. Yes. This is what I would call more of, even though it's not really a traditional formal dining room, dining room that's in its own room, but it's certainly the largest. It accommodates the most. Mm -hmm. This is where we have more of our everyday meals. Yeah, absolutely. Just right off the kitchen. I can see that. And I love the, the quality of light, too, the quality of light that comes in from yes. every direction. We love the windows of the house. It's one of the things that drew, drew, us, drew us to it. Yeah, yeah. Okay, now, Stuart, just kind of do a three. It's kind of neat. Because, yeah. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> That's a cool shot I lust here. after this kitchen. <laughs> I do lust after this kitchen. It's pretty incredible. And now I'm thinking, oh, if you took out this wall, mm -hmm. the, this just would be... It would have, a shadow of itself. Yes, yes. It, it mm -hmm. just is breathtaking. 
and it does what's the kitchen triangle thing i mean it does that brilliantly kitchen rectangle yes um because it does it just brilliantly yeah I lots love of space for things this yeah. kind of slate color all of the earth tones mm -hmm. that you have that read southwest i love the no hand no uh what's it called yeah no, no hardware, hardware. just nice. uh just a very simple you know and you kind of give a little push and they pop oh, right cool. out yeah. Mm. And gosh, stuff is Pop neat. right back in there. Yeah, I, 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 I can only dream. <laughs> so, um, so it was all, everything new cabinetry. We and did everything. Yes, I can imagine the, what it looked the like. The house had 55. pretty much, pretty much not had had hadn't been, hadn't been touched. Oh, wow. Um, and we we actually wanted to save some of the the uh, bathrooms, which we'll let you look at on your own time. But they were the bright greens and the and the oh, wow. yellows, and we kind of were thought they were fun. And you'll see as you take a look at them, we tried to kind of yeah. try to kind of keep, keep kind of keep them fun. Um, but there was just there There's was a lot of pinks and yellows and all kinds of, of pinks crazy and yellows. stuff. That, that <laughs> lovely baby diarrhea color yeah. that was popular. That, that was popular back then. Now we would call that a kind of an earth tone. Yeah. But back then it was just kind of an ucky yellow. I love all of your appointments. I love everything. I do see lots of touches of urbane in here. And we love urbane. Yeah, it's just really wonderful. And look here, Stuart. And the view, huh? And look here. Oh, yeah. Those are some fresh eggs. Of course, they're fresh. Of course. You guys would have nothing but fresh eggs in here. And this surface is. Uh, that's just a quartz. Yep, quartz. Mm -hmm. Just a standard. Cool tea bar. Well, it is stunning in any language. Thank you for <laughs> hanging out a few extra minutes to Our show pleasure, us. Our pleasure, Linda. Who's the cook in the family? Him, for yeah, sure. That answer seems really. Who's sure. the, who cleans up? Um, we we divide yeah. that pretty well. It's we divide well, that pretty well. I don't do laundry. I'm not allowed to do laundry. Know. I just put it all together. Well, you're the, okay, so it's because you're the chemist. You yeah, know how to balance goes. stains. Yep. Yes. And, and you know all of that. Yeah, well, we all have our strengths. Okay, well, play to your strengths. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Thank you so, so much, Linda. Much. It was so nice to meet you. It was so nice to meet you. This is just stunning. And, I, and again, Stuart, if you get that view, I just love, talk about barring the view. Yep. The view of the entry to the golf course. Oh, wow, that is what that is right there, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, and that red rock is, that's kind of a storied golf course, isn't it? It is. Yeah, in Oklahoma City. And we need to make sure to look up everywhere we are to capture this Ooh. light fixture. Don't knock anything. I'm trying not there. to. I'm trying so hard not to. Yeah. <laughs> Just, and then also, so I, I think we were remiss in not showing the light fixture over the dining room. Oh, well, we did a little hey, bit, but we can show it again. I don't mind yeah, at all. Yeah, that is just. That's a similar feel to this. The same. Is it similar to that? One? Just has well, they they both have a yeah, they both that have a cone. collapsing quality. Yes, that's yeah, that's it. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. Okay, now we'll let you go. Now, if you come down to this level, which is on the right off of the living room, right off of the yeah, right off of the right. living room through the kitchen, and then, <laughs> yeah, and and then to this area, which is their son's wing. Okay, look at this, you guys. Talk about brilliant functionality. No wonder everything is so neat. Because if <laughs> if you lived here, things would be neat too. So the That's cool. the second refrigerator is down here and they have all sorts of pantry and larder space in this room and another access point to in and out. There's a coffee station over here, Stuart. I don't know if you I saw didn't it see earlier. That yeah, there's a coffee station ice maker. So can you imagine how much the kids must love coming here and hanging out? Absolutely. It's got it's it's really magical this as is this okay if you see a tinge of green <laughs> it is because i am green with envy and i love this color it's like a slate green or something really really it similar vibes popular to your color. yeah popular right now i think it's called maybe nightfall but apparently both kids were big volleyballers and this would is where they would come in and they would dump all of their stuff and it was just a, a great landing and launch pad, they said. Just the sheer, it's like it's such just a big size, which is great for big what size. it does. Yeah, yeah.
easy not to clutter necessarily because right. it's so big. Yeah, yeah. We can only dream of this. <laughs> we can only dream of this. And there's so little wasted space. That's okay. True. Now, if I am green, it's also maybe because of the reflection off of the fabulous tile. Let me get out of the way, Stuart. Look at that. Look at that tile and the incredible, incredible wallpaper. Yes, I love that combination. And the tile on the floor, what does that look like? That reminds me of the tile on your bathroom floor. Yeah, it does. It's from, yeah, it does. It's similar. And then this was the sun's wing. Just really fabulous. So you have privacy, but he can be back here, I guess, and plays video games That's and kind everything. That's kind of the style of yeah. 70s art, right? Isn't that yeah. What it is? yeah. And as I understood it, the daughter is the one that's already gone on to college. I think that's the way I heard it. Yeah. And the son is the one that is still in high school. And then we can kind of just do that speedy thing through here, Stuart. We'll just speed through here, but you can kind of see how it all flows together. Yeah, I guess good. We'll stay slow for that purpose so they can see. Yeah, because it's thing. just really incredible. And and oh, the the light. Well, just having a wall of windows is pretty awesome anywhere. Yeah, around. yeah, and lots of reflective surfaces to reflect the light. And then more artwork. And then the long hallway. Look how far and away we are Yeah, <laughs> this very long hallway with kind of a little bit of an homage to the old tile that was probably in here at one time. Yeah, this one has that kind of old Dust, feel. Yeah, dusty feminism that's not too sweet. Love the wallpaper. Love really this the whole the whole dynamic. And then there is this is the daughter's bedroom. And I thank her for letting us. Of course she if she's away at school, she probably doesn't know. <laughs> but a, a great view of the chickens yeah, in I'm the backyard. The, yeah. Well show you can see the chicken coop. The back of it. Yeah, you guys look at the very back. You can see let me. Yeah. I think they can see that. It's so, it, everything is so livable and it would be so, I'm just looking at all the surfaces and how easy to clean they would be. And then these are the original blueprints of the house they told me, mm -hmm. dating back to 1955. You can see the curve there, the bend of the house. Mm -hmm. This one's mm -hmm. neat because it shows the ground at different levels. Yeah. And then we have, I think it was Jeff's office. And, and by the way, the blueprints are even cooler because of the missing parts. Oh, I know. It makes them just, <laughs> it, it makes neat. them look so legit. Yeah. And oh, the color of the tile. This looks like very much of a, a resort, a resort color to me. And it really blends beautifully with oh, the colors Adam, of the blueprint. Oh, yeah. I forgot. This is the one that surprised yeah. you. Yeah, know. this is because it just Far goes back. on He's and on here. and on. <laughs> And I love... Oh, did you see where their hand, there's the handles and spouts come out on the wall? Really cool. And look at the brass fixtures That's in the shower. Neat. Oh, the dual, too. Yeah. Pretty cool. Really wonderful. I like that circle windows. It's well, like maybe that's the other thing. It made me kind of feel like it had a very mariner quality. Oh, this is, some of these paintings are really cool. And the primary suite. Oh, we haven't gotten to. Let's, I'm gonna not show that yet and show yeah, this first. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. There are so many surprises in and around the corner. And then they told us. We haven't even looked yet. I'm not looking yet, Stuart. I'm not looking yet. But they said not to miss the closet. So okay, let's slowly turn around. Slowly. Oh my word. Really, really. Everybody's wondering. Oh no. Oh. 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 Here, you um, know what? Let's right, do okay, this. There you go. Let's do this. All right, now I, I'm on the door, so okay. now, it's, now you control it. One, two, come into my <laughs> world or their world. <laughs> so Look nice. at this closet. I, you hear all the gasps. Oh my gosh. <laughs>
And they apparently designed all of it. And, and they're letting us in it. In it. And everything nice. is so cool. orderly. But I could be orderly too <laughs> if I had a closet like this. I, I mean, with this much space where, and where you can see everything so easily. And I love the, the collection of plants in the window. I, I just... You see, you can see your socks from the top. You know what socks Yeah, are. I mean... You don't have to open the drawer. Mine are look. never that orderly, but oh my goodness. This is just really exceptional. Gotta let everybody see yeah. that plants. Somebody's a sports fan and likes baseball caps. Well, and yeah, and, and it's... I mean, it's like I've had some of these caps over the years. They've just done a really good job of keeping them clean and keeping them <laughs> yeah 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 all the storage though just to be able to have this much space for stuff is it, yeah it's, it's organized it, well it's a luxury it's an absolute luxury it's really cool so Stuart, let's take a break here and we will meet back again at the front door and we will bid adieu and move on to another house in the neighborhood <laughs> all right guys linda wanted me to show you this so i will oblige Kind of like one more big living room right next to the other living room. Just different temperature. I feel bad leaving the door open, but I'll shake the camera too much if I shut it. So we're gonna go real, not real quick, but not real slow. Just like really like another room. Maybe even two. Big backyard, chicken coop. And then drop down and you get the wicker moon chairs. If anybody knows what those big, are they called moon chairs? The big plastic white, you know, egg looking ones? And maybe they're egg chairs. Maybe that's it. Pretty cool, pretty beachy. Kind of want to sit in one. This is a nice, I guess that's just a stand for a, for this guy. I have to make sure Linda sees that. Interesting. It's a side table and a stand. Okay. I did this slower than I intended, but it's all right. A little bit prettier from this side, huh? All right. We're on to the next house.